Last thing Allah says in Surah Al-Falaq, from the evil of the one who is jealous, who has hasad, when he acts out in accordance with his hasad. Now you tell me, of all the creations of Allah, which creation is the most jealous? Which creation is the most jealous? The, the, the one who intends you the most harm. إِنَّهُ لَكُمْ عَدُوٌ مُبِينٌ Iblis, shaitan. The next surah is dedicated to protect you from the one who is the most jealous. مِنْ شَرِّ الْوَسْوَاسِ الْخَنَّاسِ Iblis himself. Shaitan himself. Even between human beings, when someone has jealousy, who inspires that jealousy in them? Who comes and puts waswasa in them to have that jealousy to begin with? So we identified the outwardly of the problem in Surah Al-Falaq. But the inwardly source... The, the ultimate source of that jealousy, Iblis himself, that's been identified in Surah An-Nas. So evils on the outside are guarded against in Surah Al-Falaq, and evils on the inside in Surah An-Nas. Another way of looking at it also is, the evils mentioned in Surah Al-Falaq are out of your control. Somebody blowing over knots, casting spells over you, trying to harm you because of jealousy, these are things outside of your control. So you're asking Allah's protection from them. But if you look at Surah An-Nas, the things that Allah is talking about, people whispering and giving you suggestions and... Whether or not you act on that waswasa, well, you will not be able to blame the one who whispered it to you. In other words, the liability in the previous surah is on the criminals who are engaged in the act of jealousy, engaged in the act of sorcery. But in this surah, the responsibility will fall on who? Yourself. Another way that it's been described by ulama, the relationship between these two, the previous harms what is outwardly, meaning harms your dunya. Magic can harm some, someone psychologically and things like that. These are things that affect your dunya. But the waswasa of shaitan harms what? Your deen, your akhirah, your iman. So now we have to compare deen, dunya and deen. Which is more precious? Which, is, which has to be guarded more? So we asked Allah's protection a lot more in Surah An-Nas. We only called on Allah once in Surah Al-Falaq. What did we say? قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِي رَبِّ الْفَلَقْ Rabb came up once. Look at Surah An-Nas, we're asking Allah to protect our deen. How many times we call on Allah? قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِي رَبِّ النَّاسِ مَلِكِ النَّاسِ إِلَاهِ النَّاسِ Three times as much. We emphasized the protection of our deen, our iman. Because when shaitan makes waswasa in your iman, putting doubts in it, putting jealousy in it, putting evil in it, putting greed in it, what is it attacking? It's attacking the faith, the taqwa. It can corrupt all of those things. So we ask Allah a lot more protection in this surah.